So as you can see behind me, I've got a whole bunch of computers, some Mac, some Windows. What's faster? We're gonna run five different tests, the same five tests on each of the computers. And let's see what the results are. Let's see which ones are actually faster. Now the specs are gonna be a little bit different. Some have got more CPU, some have got more RAM. We are actually gonna run some benchmark software on each one to actually show you which one is actually faster. But before we do get into this, you're probably here for the first time. You're just checking this video out and checking this channel out and welcome. We are glad that you have made it, but please do subscribe. Click on the button and on the bell. But first, have you actually heard of Pot Player X? This is a great video and audio player for Mac OS. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It allows you to play a wide range, a wide variety of all types of media files like music and videos. And the great thing is that it's completely free. In the description of this video, I've actually got a link directly to Pot Player X that you need to download. It's also available from the Mac App Store, which makes it super easy to be able to get it, download it, install it, and then start playing all of your audio and video files directly on your Mac. It's got some really, really great features such as being able to speed up and slow down your video, especially sometimes when you want certain things to be running just a little bit faster, so you can cram more into your day. And you can even take screenshots and recordings straight from the player itself. I definitely would recommend it. So go ahead and download Pop Player X for Mac OS. All right, let's now show you the computers and then let's talk about the actual tests themselves and what we're gonna be testing. So the lineup of our five computers, three Windows PCs, three Macs. This first one here is a Lenovo ThinkPad X390. There you go with the specs. We've then got our MacBook Pro. This is the Intel one. So this is the older CPU, a Microsoft Surface laptop, which is also touchscreen, a Microsoft Surface Pro. This is the version eight. And then a fully fledged MacBook Pro M1 processor. So here's the first test that we're gonna run. How long does it take to actually shut down the computer? Not by pushing the power button, by going into the start menu and shut down, or going into the Mac logo and shut down, and then to power the thing back on and log back in. I love movies. I'm sure you love movies, and you're gonna probably watch movies on a laptop. So we're gonna open up Netflix via a browser window and go and navigate to my one of my favorite movies. One of the big things that you're gonna be doing on a laptop, of course, is gonna be doing some word processing. So how long does it take to open up, type in some nice words in there, save the document, maybe then attach it to an email, and then email it to a friend. From time to time, the computer is gonna run a little bit slower. So you wanna actually go and run a cleanup activity. Clean it up, get it all working schmick. And then we've got ourselves a big file and I wanna copy it to a network drive. How fast is that going to be? Now I know, I know, you're thinking to yourself, they're all different specs. Now what's the deal with these five tests? I mean, what are you actually testing? They are just completely ridiculous. And you may be right. And yes, there are a lot more thorough, complete, tests that you can actually do. I do know that. We are actually gonna run some benchmark software on each one to actually show you which one is actually faster. So I'm using Geekbench, which is a benchmarking software. I'm gonna go and download that. I can download the Mac or the Windows version of Geekbench. And then you can run it on any of these devices to get your actual score. Now let's actually have a look at each individual laptop and see how they performed. So here we got it on our Lenovo ThinkPad. Now the score isn't too crash hot and came in at number five. So comparing to the actually day-to-day -day use, hey, it didn't come out too good, but there you go. At fourth came out MacBook Pro, the Intel CPU with a score of 4140. So over a thousand more than the previous Lenovo. Surprisingly, our Surface Pro came in at third place, even though it performed so well in real life tests at 4397. 
Then we have our second place, which is our Surface Laptop, which actually got a slightly better score than the Surface Pro. Who would have thought? And then the winner is the MacBook Pro M1 CPU, which obliterated the other four laptops. But of course, for day-to-day -day use, it wasn't actually that much more superior than the others. Of course, the big thing about these MacBook Pro, of course, is that if you're gonna be doing high intense graphics, video editing, maybe some design work, then yes, the better laptop is gonna give you better performance because it's actually gonna use all of that CPU and the RAM. But for day-to-day -day use, hey, all five of them did perform quite equally. There wasn't an outright winner from the day-to-day -day tests. Was the winner the one that you picked? Different specs of different computers are going to give you different sorts of results. But thank you for spending the last few minutes watching this video and subscribe, click on the button, like, comment, do what you do. We'll see you next time where we talk about all things tech. Stay tuned for the next video.